Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? I hope the waves aren't too loud. I've got the Pacific Ocean behind me. Of course, I got the moon off in the distance, so as good a place as any to make a video tonight. Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Kent, the channel's EOS San Diego, and I make a nightly video about the EOS blockchain. I wanna talk a little bit tonight about the EOS San Diego channel. And um, when I started this channel uh, a few months ago, actually started it, I uh, changed it over a few months ago. My goals were, first of all, to talk specifically or almost explicit, uh, exclusively about EOS. Because when I discovered the EOS project, I saw that EOS was a game changer. That EOS was going to change a blockchain. And of course, it has. What you're seeing right now, and I think with the, this, uh, with the price has gone down a little bit, is you're seeing that the utility of blockchain hasn't quite met the expectations. So with all the ICOs that were done on Ethereum, um, a lot of people wanted, in fact, people rushed to do an ICO because obviously there was coin appreciation. So they quickly did ICOs, the coin, the coin appreciated. But when you actually saw what, how it, what the utility was there in order to proceed with the project and do something actually constructive, it, it just didn't exist. So in, in, that, in that respect, Ethereum couldn't maintain or didn't have the scalability to actually produce what was promised as far as a lot of applications were concerned. And now you're seeing those applications move over to the EOS blockchain. When we saw that, that made me excited about EOS, and that's why I decided to do a YouTube channel, and that's why I decided to talk about EOS every night, because I thought it was that big. It was that, that deserved me literally coming on YouTube every night and making a video. The second thing I wanted to do is I wanted to make the video uh, a nightly. I wanted every night because that's, that's, the, that's the way to connect with the audience and to find the feed out, feedback, feedback from people and find out what they're talking, what they're thinking. And of course, I read every single comment on the uh, San Diego channel. And that was something that was very important to me is to put something up nightly and stay uh, connected with people. So I had that interaction with people on a daily basis. And the third thing that I wanted to do with this channel is I wanted to always be positive. Uh, very little ever comes from being negative. So. I always really uh, struggled to be very, very positive. Not struggled, but I always made it my focus to be very positive. Obviously, there's a lot of positive things going on, but anyone can find something negative to talk about. I've always tried to focus on the positive and always will try to focus on the positive because I believe whatever little issues come up that people want to complain or you know have issue with will work themselves out, and they always have worked themselves out. So. Those are the three main focuses, to talk about EOS, to do it nightly, and also to, uh, to be very positive, of which that's been my, um, th that's been really the, the foundation of this channel, and that's been my mandate since, since I started it. A lot of people have asked me about block producers, and of course I've, I haven't really talked much about block producers, uh, mainly because um, I, have, I have a lot of uh, respect for anybody that's, that, that's, that's involved with the EOS project and anybody that's invest time and effort to be in Block Producer, I have a lot of respect for it, so I haven't really talked much about Block Producer. People ask me who I would choose for Block Producer. So today I set up an EOS um, proxy vote. So if you want EOS San Diego to vote for Block Producer to represent you as a proxy, I've set that up. The way to do that is EOS uh, toolkit.io, EOS toolkit.io, off to the left, after you log in and you do that with Scatter, uh, very easy to do. There's some really good videos. One is EOS Vibes does a good video. Of course, Nathan James does a video on how to do Scatter. Once you do that, off to the left, there's some selections. And one of them is uh, Managing Vote, Managing Vote. And if you click on that, there's a drop-down menu that says um, um, uh, Proxy Information. Proxy Information. If you look through those proxy uh, voters, the EOS San Diego will be in there. Actually, the, the channel is EOS San Diego 1 because you have to have 12 characters to be on the blockchain, so it's EOS San Diego 1. So you can go off to the left, click the box, and of course, Scatter will ask you to identify yourself or uh, to accept it, and then at that point, we will be your proxy vote for your um, for uh, EOS block producer, or for, yeah, for uh, block producer. You get to vote 30 for 30 people, 21 are actually block producers. And of course, there's a lot of validators right now. And, um, and if you want, want us to do that, uh, I'd appreciate it. And also, you'll get to see who we, who we vote for, because it's always transparent. You can see who everybody votes for. 
So, what I want to talk about tonight is I want to talk about uh, EOS and the biometric uh, identity. Uh, a finger scan, a face scan, some sort of biometric identity. I believe this is coming very soon and it may be something announced in the London Hackathon about uh, identity. I believe Dan Lammers uh, uh, alluded to the fact that a fingerprint identity, much like the iPhone has, and other uh, ways of identifying people are. But this is something I think that's going to be very big by putting a biometric identity on the, the blockchain. Because there's two things blockchain really needs in order to, to progress and, and get bigger and take off. One is it's got to be easier to use. I believe a biometric identity will make it very, very easy to use. So all you really need, and I have a police officer right behind me that happens to be pulling somebody over right on the 101. Always something going on in San Diego, actually. So i got to walk down here just a little bit so the light doesn't flash in the video. But biometric identity is something very, very big. And obviously being on the blockchain, making it so it's, uh, it's universally used by anybody throughout the world, of course, encrypted, that you won't have all these uh, different things that you have to do now to, to be able to have accounts and to be able to log into banking and to be able to log into... Um, you know, personal accounts and so on and so forth. By putting a biometric identity up on the EOS blockchain or on the blockchain and have that be encrypted, your personal information encrypted, obviously, this will be something that I think will make it so things, everybody's life will be more smoother, you know, because you won't have to remember all these different codes and all these different logins and users and all the different things we go through throughout the day. In fact, I think during the day, I, I spend most of my day just logging into accounts with my user and my password, all that can be eliminated with a biometric identity on the blockchain that's universally used, and so you can log into any kind of uh, any kind of uh, account that you need to log into. This is something very big. I think something will be announced very soon, actually in the, at the London Hackathon, and this is something I think that will be uh, a unique feature of the blockchain to be able to do that. And actually, the, the police officer left, so I can go back to my original uh, spot. So. Look for this to be something that happens very soon. Um, uh, people are actually uh, applications being run on the, on the blockchain that measure uh, biometric identity and being that put that on the, on the blockchain. So people have a, a universal identity on the blockchain that can be used anywhere for whatever account they want to log into. Uh, this is something that's going to be uh, really big and something that the uh, blockchain will uh, create easy use and also uh, create an abil ability to put an identity. One of the biggest videos I ever made was something about not standing in line anymore, creating an identity and being able to have that identity so wherever you go, you're automatically recognized without, you know, uh, giving identity or, or uh, information as far as your driver's license and all the other stuff that we have to carry an identity. Not having to do that anymore, but just having a biometric identity on the blockchain. Very important and very, you know, with the blockchain being able to be used worldwide, being able to put an identity on the blockchain, be able to have it, uh, uh, your personal identity measured by your biometrics, the fingerprint or the face scan or whatever they do, retina scan. This is all stuff that the blockchain can do very, very effortlessly. And I think it's very soon to come. And when it does, it's going to change, streamline, and make uh, life much easier for people by just having an identity on a blockchain and then be able to use that wherever they need to be identified for whatever purposes. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.